Investigators are still working to find the people responsible for killing three men and shooting two others in Beaumont's South End Thursday night. Police say they are waiting for autopsy results to help with the investigation. KFDM reporter Justin Hinton spoke with a group of pastors from a number of cities hoping to decrease the violence. God told you, your ministry was taking going. You say, I'm getting up and I'm going. These four pastors from three different cities are discussing how a youth revival came together in the city of Beaumont. But they're also talking about the violence Beaumont saw just a few days before when someone shot five men, killing three. A few of our members at our church, that was their relatives. So I know how it affected them. I was at the hospital that night myself. Pastor James Gardner heads Faith to Faith Christian Ministry. He says a youth revival could not have come at a more pressing time. And we need to go back and take the city back. We need to go back uh, uh, city by city, block by block, man by man, person by person, and just go get God's people. Even uh, the, the strongest, evilest man, if you show enough love, you can change the attitude. And that's what we're all about. I believe that prayer works. I believe that we need to get back to uh, our knees of uh, seeking the face of God. It's a message that starts from an early age. Show love one to another. Uh, put the hate aside. Come forth with unity. No matter what your background is, no matter your skin color, you can come together in, in, on one accord. And, man, we can move mountains. A street-level approach, similar to the way investigators are trying to find the people responsible for the shooting. This was a very extensive crime scene. We had three men who were killed. We have uh, so many detectives who are working on this case, not only from our department, but also from the federal level. Uh, we're getting assistance from the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, the crime lab. Uh, we know that there are family members who are grieving this loss. So we're going to work around the clock. A process they hope will lead to an arrest. We're very confident that we will find out who's responsible for these crimes, bring them to justice. We just need to, the help from the public. We've gotten several tips you know, that are going to pan out eventually. But there's someone out, else out there who probably knows more about this, about this incident. And that information will help us solve this crime. In Beaumont, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. Odwin Samuel is the councilman of the district where the shooting happened. Samuel told KFDM News he wants city officials to come up with a plan to help reduce violence in his district. He's going to ask council and the mayor for ideas at the next meeting.